What up guys, today I wanna to share with you the tools that I work with to get my work done. Um, most of my work revolves around designing digital products, so doing kind of UX, UI, um, again, product design, which is either web apps or mobile apps, and also marketing websites and web design in general. And so I wanna show you the tools and how I, how I use them. I don't think there's anything new here. You probably know all the tools, but um, I'll explain what I use each. So right now we are in February, uh, not February, April 2018. Um, my main tools is Sketch um, that I work with and I sync my, my files using the Craft plugin, which is Craft plugin by Envision. I use to sync all of my files to Envision. I do have Envision Studio and I'm really, really hoping that Envision Studio will become my tool of choice. But as of April, which we are right now, I have tested it for a few times. It's not fully ready and, and kind of productive ready for my web for all of my workflows. So I'm still more comfortable doing my work uh, in Sketch. If I have to do complicated interactive uh, animations, which is what really, really cool uh, in, in, in Vision Studio, right now I'm doing that uh, with Principle. Principle is really cool software. I do think that the process of working with, you know, Sketch in the beginning, showing certain interactions with principles, and then moving files to developers using using the Envision um, um, Assets Manager is kind of a broken process. And again, I really hope that once Envision Studio will be at a position where I can do everything with it, I will switch to it. But as of right now, as I said, I'm still more comfortable in using fragmented tools, which each of them can be really robust and get the job done um, completely. Um, and so that's that's how I work to design. So again, when I work on kind of products which I don't develop myself, uh, I usually share them on Envision and through the Envision, uh, you get the inspect and the developers can download the assets and see the, you know the spec the the different different spacing and everything else so that's how I work with developers on websites which I do develop on my own obviously uh, I work with webflow uh, I've been sharing that like a lot of times here on the vlog if you don't know and obviously they're sponsoring uh, my channel because I use them so much so I use them for everything marketing websites product design that I do the front end I do all of Prospero's front end using uh, Webflow. So Webflow is my tool of choice when I'm actually doing the development. Again, I'm not a developer. I don't like properly know how to code, but I do understand it. And Webflow is simple enough for me to, to get everything I need done. So whenever I'm doing the development, Webflow is my tool of choice. Now I do still have, and you can see here that I do have Adobe Photoshop and Illustrator and actually even InDesign here. It's because I still work a lot with them. Some people I know who are only doing digital design have completely stopped using Photoshop. I still use Photoshop and I, I would say that I even use Photoshop daily because when it comes to image editing, uh, you can't really do that. You can't really cut images um, using, using Sketch. So I do use Photoshop for example, for the thumbnails of the images uh, of the YouTube or any image manipulation that I have to do, I use Photoshop for that. Obviously, I don't use that for interface design, but I do have a lot of photo manipulation, which is which is what I have to do. Illustrator, I still use for all of my um, logo design. And if I have to do kind of complicated icon design, I still use uh, Illustrator for that because the vector capabilities of Illustrator are still much, much better than, uh, than sketches. And so I never design logos in sketch. I always open Illustrator for that. Um, and InDesign is still here because unfortunately I still have to do a little bit of print work and not even print work. Um, when I send PDFs, for example, I send some reports to some clients that I have. So in order to make a well-designed PDF, I still use InDesign, which was a tool that, you know, back in my advertising day, that was like 80% of my day would be spent in uh, InDesign. Uh, but today it's like, maybe once a week or a couple of times a month, I would use InDesign to create a, a report, a PDF or something like that. Before 
I had Prospero, obviously I used to use InDesign to create my proposals uh, for my clients, but now I do everything digitally digitally with Prospero, so I don't use it uh, for that. And obviously uh, Adobe Premiere is what I use to edit all the videos, which I do daily. And so every day I use Premiere and I use that uh, a lot. Other than that, I actually got started in using the Notes app, the, the Apple Notes app, really extensively lately. And the main use case is that just because I take notes on the go, uh, even in clients meeting or when I'm on my bicycle and I have some thought or an idea that I wanna capture, because the app is so, so simple, it happens, you know, it opens super, super quickly and then I take notes and when I'm on my Mac, uh, I just open and it syncs automatically. So I use the Notes app um, a lot recently. Uh, most of my project management is still done using um, like blank sketch sketchbooks, which I really like. I do use task management software like Trello for a lot of the projects in which I collaborate with other people. So Prospero, when I work with, with uh, Ayal, my developer partner, we have a Trello board for Prospero. I have few more Trello boards with some of my other clients. And so um, tr I use a lot of Trello, but not for my personal, I would say freelance. And I've also created kind of a CRM for my client management in Trello, but not, I don't do really project management in Trello. Um, recently, I just got access actually last night to a new tool called Coda, which is supposed to be kind of like the future of docs or something. So I'm going to try and, and, and tr test that, but I haven't played with that uh, yet. And so I don't want to review it. And I can't say that I'm using it. But if I will see that it fits my process, I will probably do kind of a comprehensive review on that. Um, other than that, I think I'm working, I'm still working on a MacBook Pro from like four years ago and it works super. It works as fast as I think almost as the day that I bought it. Um, and the truth, <laughs> the truth is, is that I don't want to buy a new MacBook because I just heard so many complaints that the new MacBooks are just crap their their keyboard breaks down they're they're just in they're not any faster than any of the actual macbooks that were like created three or four years ago and i just bought my wife like a new computer like last month uh, a new macbook pro and she was like do you want to take the new one and uh and i'll have your old one and i was like no no my, i love my old computer it got usb uh you know plugs it's got hdmi i don't have to like she's already in the dongle life has to connect whatever dongles uh, in order to use USBs and, and other simple things. And so I'm actually pretty frustrated with the way that Apple takes their MacBook Pros. And so I'm not up. To, I know that I will have to update anytime soon. But right now, as long as I can get my work done on on an old MacBook, I'm, I'm still keeping it and I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I do use you might not think this is important for a designer, but this is almost the most important thing for designers. I use an external hard drive and I use Time Machine to back things up. And I had so many times where I just, you know, files were corrupted or just just the other day, just this week, for some reason I've like, I've overridden a file, uh, a ske sketch file and like I lost the design. And so having the backup with, and I could do like a time machine, within within sketch just like recent uh, revert to version and see all of my versions and go back like three days into the past and, and just copy it an object that i lost it was so so valuable and so i really learned the hard way the importance of having backups and so time machine works well for me i can have the versions of any file that i have on my desktop i still as I said, this computer did not crash yet, and so I never had to do like a full backup uh, because this com this computer was not uh, fully corrupted. But I do use it to you know grab specific versions of files that uh, I used to work on. I think this is pretty comprehensive as the way that I get my uh, my design work done. Honestly, here here's the conclusion. I don't think that it really 
matters that much. I think you can probably do everything today. Like if you have an idea for a design that you want to execute, say for a digital design, you can probably get it done no matter if you're doing it on Sketch or XD or in Vision Studio. Those are just tools to execute on your idea. I am always trying to optimize and find the best tool, most comfortable tool or productive tool, but it doesn't really matter. It's not like if I had to switch to PC today and use XD or, or whatever, I could probably maintain the same level of quality of the work that I do. And even, I guess, I assume more or less same level of productivity within, within a few weeks of adjustments. And so tools are cool. They're easy. I love tools. I'm, I'm a geek of the tools. But, uh, you know, don't ever think that the tools is what you need to get a good design done. You need to think and you need to know how to execute. You need to know how to use the tools, but the tools don't really, really matter. Anyway, hope that was helpful for you guys. I got some really cool content coming up in the upcoming days and week as well. So if you're not subscribed yet, now's the chance, time to subscribe and I'll catch you guys tomorrow.